Hello everyone in this video, let us uh, use script runner for Jira to change the color of the uh, transition buttons. So there was a question uh, on my channel recently about uh, changing the colors of uh, transition buttons that appear on the Jira issue view. Now few days ago I made this video about uh, an app called Transition Colors for Jira and using this app you can do exactly this but it won't really let you change the color uh, manually. It will pick up the color of the target status and of course this is an app it is uh, something that you need to install and uh, uh, you can do the same thing or in fact you can do much more using a script script runner for Jira. I also made a video about uh, how to do these things using a script runner uh, where I actually talked about inserting a custom CSS using script runner. Uh, it is known as a script fragments. So you can of course uh, take a look at uh, this video to know more about uh, how it is uh, done. And uh, I have my instance of Jira where I have this uh, CSS applicable on my people section on the right hand side. So right now it looks very ugly and the reason is because I am using a web resource which I set up to change the color. So when you, when you have to do something similar you need to click on of course fragments then you need to go to the uh, uh, install web resource and uh, I, I already have a web resource where I can uh, simply just modify it to show you how we can uh, change the color of uh, the transition buttons. So the only thing that you need to worry about is the context. This is very important because uh, you can have this CSS applicable across Jira instance but I, I don't think you really want to do that. You just want to focus on the Jira view issue and uh, make sure you set the context then you need to specify the file uh, name that you will be uploading on the server. So we will uh, figure out how to upload this file and it is actually very easy. All you need to do you need to uh, make some changes in your uh, in your set env file and restart your Jira. So when, once you do that you can specify a folder a scripts folder in your home directory for example that can hold and accommodate these uh, CSS files or it could be a JavaScript file. So if you look at the documentation here, uh, this is the documentation of uh, script fragments and I'm looking at the web resource. So all, all you need to do, you need to specify the, uh, the location like this in your set env file. So once you do this, you can of course take a look at your uh, uh, your your folder and make sure that the folder path is correct. So right now I'm using uh, uh, the script folder under my Jira home which is var slash Jira hyphen home 2 and there's a folder called scripts. So the style.css file is the file that I will be using to basically do changes in, uh, in my, uh, I mean I want to basically have a transition button in a different color. So once I am happy with my styling I can of course uh, copy it here. So for doing those changes uh, to basically figure out uh, what all you want to do you can go back to your browser and uh, just click on the inspect uh, element in your uh, in your browser and uh, right now I'm using Chrome you can do something similar with uh, Firefox. So figure out the action ID or any ID of uh, this element that you want to modify uh, which is of course an ID but uh, the, the ID name is uh, action underscore ID underscore 11 and on the right hand side if you click on the plus uh, sign you can actually uh, do some changes to your uh, I mean you can check how style will look like like I want to add a background color which is let us say gray I want to have it something similar to the workflow categories workflow status categories and uh, I want to have my border radius as well. So maybe I want to have 10 pixels and maybe I want to have a text color which is uh, white. So I can do these uh, changes and uh, 
once I do these changes, I can copy the style, the CSS part, and uh, I can uh, paste it in my style.css. So this is actually for my to-do, to-do transition. I can do something similar for, uh, of course, my uh, other buttons. So the next button here is uh, my in progress and uh, I can click on it, right click and uh, my in progress transitions ID is 21. I'll do the same thing. And this time I want to make sure that the color is uh, blue maybe. So it looks good. And I will simply use the, oh, I mean, the, uh, the, the only thing which is different here is the color and the ID uh, number, which is 21. So I'll go back to my uh, to my uh, CSS file. I will copy this. And uh, now I want to do the same thing for my in progress transition. And I will paste the, the same code. But of course, I'll change the ID here, which is 21, I believe, and the background color should be blue. Rest of the things, I want to keep it as it is. And maybe one more time for my done transition. And uh, copy it one last time. I will figure out the ID of my done button here, which is 31. So I'll change it to 31. And I want to have my background color as maybe green, so it looks good. And I will save my CSS. So once I do the, uh, the changes, just go back to your uh, web resource and uh, just you know click on the update button because I I have figured out that uh, when you click on the update button it will uh, ensure the file is picked up and it is inserted in your Jira. Uh, it, it will be basically applied and uh, if you go back to the same issue view and I can first, uh, I mean uh, you can then uh, do a refresh you might need to change, uh, I mean, you might might need to clear the cache, uh, but just try to refresh uh, and uh, see if the changes are applied or not. So let us wait for it to, uh, to basically pick up the changes that we just did. Hopefully it will work because when you're working with the CSS, uh, usually it is not very complicated. And uh, as you can see, with the help of script on how we are able to change the color of the buttons and these buttons look really beautiful. I really like them. And I, I think I prefer these buttons. It, they look a bit fancy, not too much fancy, but you know, the round color and different colors that you can see here. Uh, and there, there is a radius and uh, it looks nice. It, it gives a very uh, vibrant feel to my Jira instance. And uh, I'm sure I'll make my Jira instance a bit more colorful with the help of uh, script runner and uh, CSS. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.